I'm going to get into minting some NFTs today using Nefty Blocks. To start out with, I'm going to prepare for minting NFTs by creating some IPFS hashes, which is a standard in the NFT minting world for hosting artwork and media. So to do that, I just made an account at Pinata, and then all I need to do is click upload and Pinata lets me upload my media and turns it into an IPFS hash for me. I'm gonna start pre preparing my IPFS hashes, which is what I'm going to host to mint new NFTs. I went through, I created some artwork and now I'm going to upload it to Pinata, which lets me turn it into this CID, they call it, which this string here is the string of characters is the hash that I'm going to host as my NFT. And that is going to be recognized by Nefty Blocks as the artwork that I just uploaded. So back on Nefty Blocks, I, on my wallet under create, I go to my collection and then under collection uh, schemas and templates, it shows me how my collection is organized. So I'm gonna create a new NFT inside my marble racing schema. So here's the existing templates that already exist in this schema that have NFTs created from them, but now I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to start by saying how many total mints will exist. That's one. This is a one of a kind NFT. Uh, and then here I'm going to go through and start filling in the information for the immutable attributes for the NFT that this template will mint. In the spot for video, this is where I can paste the IPFS hash that I hosted on Pinata earlier. So now I'm going to go back and copy that and go toggle back between my market tabs here and then uh, paste that back. And then that'll bring it into the preview window. And if I wait long enough, uh, Nefty Blocks's uh, API will have read the IPFS network and downloaded it and display it for everybody pretty much the first time you show one a new hash to any marketplace or any website it'll take a minute to load but then everybody will see it once it's loaded either way now i'm going to go through fill in the rest of the uh, attributes so attributes can be used to organize to collections like rarity for example if you name everything the same like winner or uh racer so this is a winner rarity now you'll be able to filter through these tabs later um, so you can see I'm, I'm going to copy paste from my collections, uh, existing assets so that I can keep consistency and make sure I don't make any mistakes. Always double check all these attributes before you get ready to mint. And if you want, you can wait for the preview to show up. Uh, but I'm very confident because I've done this many times. So I'm going to go ahead and start minting this template before, uh, the preview finishes. Worst case scenario, if it does not show up, I can always not use the template to mint any NFTs since at this point I'm only minting the template and haven't created any NFTs from it yet. So I click on mint and then I can verify my transaction. It'll pop up uh, an anchor wallet for me or if you're using your cloud wallet, it'll pop up your cloud wallet pop up and you go ahead and approve. And then you'll see the template gets added to your list of existing templates here in the templates and schema. Oh, and there we go. We can see it finally popped up. So now when I click on it, I'll see the artwork that I was expecting to see. Great. And I can double check the attributes. Everything is what I want. And if everything is what I expect to see, it's time to mint the NFT. So I'm going to go ahead and click on mint NFT here and to mint an NFT, it's going to have to just navigate through my collection to the template that I just created. So we're going to go to marble racing and then the template, there it is, the winner template. And you can see I've made a couple other ones. I uh, haven't minted them yet, but I'm going to start by minting now. Uh, it's asking me how many assets do I want to mint there at the bottom? I'm, I don't need to uh, worry about anything else except for making sure that uh, everything I expect to see in those attributes is correct, which it is. So it's showing me I'm going to mint one and it's going to go into airdrop.neon, which is the wallet that I'm currently using. You can also have it mint into any wallet that you like. You don't have to mint into your own wallet. Uh, but once I'm satisfied with all those, the number of mints and the wallet it's going to, I'll hit the mint button, check the pop-up windows and make sure that I'm seeing what I'm expecting to see and then sign the transactions. Uh, we should see the approved and nefty blocks. Excellent. And now I want to just check my... Uh, my wallet to see if it's in here. So I'm going to go to my gallery. There's my collection and bam, there it is already. 
my NFTs. Brand new, hot off the minting press. Excellent. So that's uh, that's kind of the process of going through Nefty Blocks to mint NFTs. You can mint NFTs from many different platforms, so we can dive into some other ones as well.